All right, so let's talk about something that really is probably the question that everybody's asking themselves. Hey, when is the crypto market going to take off and when is it going to go up and, and just kind of when is that going to happen? And so I wanted to talk about that in a video. So let me talk about a few things that I'm seeing out there. Number one, we are the crypto market is going to be volatile and it's going to be kind of a roller coaster ride a baby roller coaster ride. Here's what I mean by that. It's not going to be some roller coaster ride with these massive dips up and down because we are literally waiting for the Federal Reserve decision. So it's almost like we're on a, a kiddie roller coaster, right? We got some ups, we got some downs, but but and by and I'm, I'm equating that kiddie roller coaster ride scenario to um, kind of what you see going on in the in the market in the last seven days, where you've got we might be up two or three percent, we might be down one or two percent on any one given day. You know, Bitcoin might be up or down. Again, you can kind of see it, right? And this is where we're going to be, guys, because we're waiting on the Federal Reserve decision of whether or not they're going to raise interest rates twenty five five basis points or 50 basis points. If they raise them only 25 basis points for the for the base interest rate, um, I think that the crypto market's going to take off and it's going to be a screaming wild ride in a positive scenario. It's going to go boom, it's going to go up. I think if the if the Fed raises it 50 basis points, that's not going to be viewed as a positive overall sign and i.e. the crypto market and I think the stock market as well is going to react negatively and negatively and I think we're going to have a bunch of red days. That's what I see happening now so effectively we're waiting okay so we're waiting until the federal reserve meeting that happens in may all right so when up well it's really decided it's really associated with that if the federal reserve comes out and does 25 basis point raise then it will we will i think boom we will take off and we will go i think that that it all is predicated around that and 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 we just got to kind of wait and see now I have people that I do trust that are extremely smart that are telling me a bull run is definitely in line for a May scenario. The question is, and I don't think, and I'm, I'd love to be wrong on this, I, I don't think that anything's going to happen. I don't think it's going to be like May 1, it's all going to magically turn on, right? And I think that it's going to be, we're going to be in this waiting period, waiting for the Federal Reserve. I think we, if we get out of April, because you know April kind of a eh month. We got you got to pay your taxes, and you just kind of got that, and and you know you know all that kind of stuff. And if I go back in time, April last year not a great month, really wasn't. May was a massive month. I mean, May was the month with Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, and of last year, by the way, and all of these things, and and it was a great month overall. And so May historically is a very good month for crypto. June and July tend to be a little bit soft from the standpoint of kind of price action like we're having now, a little bit of kind of just not a lot overall going on. I personally believe that June and July are that way because I think that frankly, a lot of the world checks out in June and July. They're on vacation, they're spending time with their family, they're looking inward, right? They're looking at their family and their friends and their you know, vacation, summer, et cetera. So I think that that's what we've got going on. So May is really kind of our last, in, in my mind, really, really great run month. Uh, and then June and July, I think there's definitely opportunities, right? But it's not going to be like, you know, June and July are going to be screaming really great green candle days and months, et cetera. So May is it. And then after that, we roll into, again, kind of August and September tend to be a little bit better than the, the summer months can be. Again, volatility a little bit, and then um, October traditionally is, is a pretty darn good month. Uh, November, decent, and then December, everybody starts to kind of, you know, not, uh, late November, December, everybody starts to pay attention to their families, the holidays, and things of that nature. So, when up, there you go. That's what I've got. When are we going up? Keep your eye out. Subscribe to this channel. Would love to have you become a subscriber, and we'll be talking about this Federal Reserve thing as we go forward and other macroeconomic indicators. As always, appreciate you. Hey, have a good one. Take it care. Bye.